Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and today we are doing five star predictions. First of all, I'm in a new spot. I got a new bookcase and so in reorganizing all my shelves I figured it's a great opportunity to show them off. So here we are. It also allows me to sit while filming and I'm lazy. So I've been wanting to do a five star predictions video but I just didn't know how to like organize which books I wanted to have in the video because there are a bunch of books that I think I'm going to love, obviously. So I decided I would do only books that I own, first and foremost, and then I organized them by genre um, and there are like 10 different genres that I keep track of like um, in my bullet journal uh, up here there are the 10 different categories and so I figured I'd pick one-ish from each genre and talk about um, a book I think I'm going to love from that. And that's what we're gonna do. I'll stop rambling and get into the books. We're gonna go in alphabetical order. So the first one is classics. I don't own a lot of classics and I also, I feel like they're kind of hit or miss for me. I have kind of a hard time with classics, uh, mostly because of like the language and jargon. It's just written very different differently than other books I read. So like I said, I didn't have a lot to choose from and this one I have a little bit of a caveat for. I have two um, and they are Pride and Prejudice and Emma by Jane Austen. I read Persuasion by Jane Austen back in June and I liked it okay. Um, it took me a really long time to get through but I am still holding out hope that I'm really gonna like Jane Austen. I think I just need to kind of get in the mood to read that um, specific like, language style and writing style. Uh, my other idea is to watch the Pride and Prejudice movie at some point, and then once I have a feel for the um, story, read the actual book. I feel like that might help me. But yes, I've also heard Emma is really great. I know a couple of different people on YouTube who really love it. Um, you know, Sam from Sam's Books and Nonsense loves Emma. It's like her favorite book. So I feel like this has some potential as well. Hopefully, one of these will be five stars. I also low-key wanted to film over here so now I can do the cool thing where I put the books that I talk about on the shelf, so. So next up I have Contemporary and for this I chose Dumplin' by Julie Murphy. I was lucky enough to see Julie Murphy speak while she was on tour with Katie Katugno and Becky Albertalli and she signed my book which is really cool so and she was awesome. I absolutely loved hearing her speak and get her hearing her story. She was specifically talking about Puddin because it was right after that had come out. I now follow her on social media and she is just fantastic and so funny and so smart and I love her relationship with her husband. It's so cute. So I just feel like I'm really gonna love this and I have heard amazing things about Puddin. I've heard good things about this too but the sequel I feel like is getting even more praise and hype so I cannot wait to read this. I also think I'm really gonna love Ramona Blue by Julie Murphy and I have an ebook copy of this um, so I definitely have um, high expectations for both of these books just because I love Julie Murphy so much. Next I have fantasy and obviously since I have a whole bookcase that's just fantasy this is one of my favorite genres um, and I decided there's just so many types of fantasy and so I decided to cheat a little bit and I have two answers for this one. One is a YA fantasy and one is an adult epic fantasy because I feel like those are two different genres, so I wanted to talk about both because there are a lot of five-star predictions on this shelf, so narrowing it down to one was just impossible. So first I have Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian. This is a story of Theodosia whose mother was the queen and I think was overthrown and killed in front of Theodosia and um, they took her as prisoner and dubbed her Ash Princess as like a title of shame. Um, and took her name away from her so no one calls her by her name anymore and I assume it's like an uprising like she takes back power I don't really know uh, I don't know why I'm so hyped about this book I think it's because um, on Instagram I want to say Adam Silvera posted on the release day for Ash Princess that it was great and it was the perfect like Slytherin Sansa book and that is my personal brand and mood all the time so I feel like I'm really gonna like this. I also love the cover and it's like that really nice matte feeling so all signs are pointing to five stars for this one. And then the other fantasy story that I have is Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson and this is an adult epic fantasy. I have talked about this multiple times on my channel um, so I won't go too in depth. Uh, it is on my book bucket list for the end of 2018. I have started it. I'm 
42 pages in and so far pretty confused <laughs> um this is definitely the type of story where you just like dive in no explanation or world building it's just like welcome to the final empire you can learn as you go. I tweeted the other day about how fall makes me just really want to read epic fantasy and so many people seemed to feel the same way and I said I was either going to read Mistborn or Storm of Swords which is the third song of Ice and Fire book um, and people were telling me to read this. So I'm really excited. It's one of Adam's favorite books of all time so I can't wait. Um, I'm excited to understand a little bit more <laughs> as I read. I think I'm going to try to read a bunch tonight because it's just like a nice cozy fall evening to read epic fantasy. Next I have just straight fiction and for me this is just sort of like a catch-all when like there aren't other variations on a fictional story that fit it into like a more niche genre. The choice that I went with for fiction is Ordinary Grace by William Kent Kruger. This is a story of an a man who is sort of like thinking back on his life and a specific summer in 1961 where a bunch of people he knew died uh, by various different um, means, I guess. It's his like reflection on that, I think. Trying to understand a world that seems to be falling apart around him. The boy same. But anyway, my mom adores this book and when she was here visiting, she was like, if we see this in a bookstore, I am buying it for you. Um, it also takes place in Minnesota and William Ken Kruger is a Minnesotan author. So again, lots of things that are making me think i'm going to adore this book it looks like a good fall read too this is not a, book, a video about fall reads but i'm going into that territory for some reason <laughs> next is historical fiction which is a, a genre that i adore but don't read enough of and so i recently purchased a bunch of historical fiction books because i really want to do like a historical fiction recommendations video and I just love it and again it's great for fall and winter for some reason and this is actually the book that inspired uh the five star predictions video and that is the red tent by anita diamant this author wrote one of my favorite books of all time called the boston girl which is also historical fiction this is about dinah uh, a woman from the bible one of jacob's daughters jacob's yeah daughter um she's briefly mentioned but diamant takes her name as well as many other women from the bible who are just briefly mentioned and gives them stories which i just think is so cool because that is one of my biggest complaints with um christianity and i say that as a woman of faith that there aren't enough stories of women in the bible or in religious texts in general so i am really excited to read this i've heard really good things and again i just like loved this author's writing i thought it was so beautiful and oh my god i cannot wait to read this <laughs> all right the next genre is mystery thriller and the one that i picked first i think is just mystery i don't think it has any thriller elements at all and it's also historical fiction sort of anyway that is the beekeeper's apprentice or on the segregation of the queen by laurie r king this is the first in a series called mary r mary russell series and it's it says, in 1915, Sherlock Holmes is retired and quietly engaged in the study of honeybees. And Mary Russell becomes his apprentice. Uh, yes, that's the title. They are soon called to Wales to help Scotland Yard find the kidnapped daughter of an American senator. So I am really excited about this. I have a, I loaned this to a friend like last summer and she loved it. She's like, oh my gosh, have you read the rest of the series? I was like, I haven't even read that one. So I'm really excited. She adored it. I think Adam really liked it. I'm pretty sure he read this. Um, it's also a gorgeous cover. I am obsessed. I bought it because the cover is so pretty. So five star cover, hopefully a five star story. Next is nonfiction, which I read almost none of. My problem is I read like only memoirs and I recognize that there are so many other types of nonfiction out there that I would like to branch into, but um, most of the nonfiction I have uh, are memoirs. So. Dreams from My Father by Barack Obama is my choice. I love Obama. I think he is a phenomenal person. I think he was a great president. I miss him dearly. I feel like this is going to be really touching. I also pre-ordered Becoming by Michelle Obama um, as a birthday gift and that comes out in November. So I also predict that that will be five stars because I'm obsessed with the Obamas and I'm not ashamed to admit it. And then the last genre that I have is science fiction. Future Home of the Living God by Louise Erdich. This came out earlier this year and it's a like near future dystopian world where 
evolution stops as mysteriously as it began. And I don't really know what that means, but I feel like it has something to do with like women not able, being able to get pregnant or babies being born like with like less evolved features and um, stuff like that. The main character in this is um, the adopted daughter of Minnesota liberals, it says. So she um, was adopted from uh, Native American um, parents and she finds out she's pregnant and decides to go and like find her biological parents, I believe. I've heard some really good things about it, but I'm pretty interested to see where this goes. I don't really obviously know that much about it, but um, another Minnesota author and setting, so that's kind of cool. Hopefully five stars. All right, that is everything for this video. Those are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten books that I am predicting are going to be five stars for me. I know Books and Lala recently did a video um, like following up on her five star predictions, which I think would be super cool. I'd love to do that. So um, maybe I'll try to vlog along the way as well because I feel like um, that would be really cool. Although it's probably gonna that would probably be a really long vlog. I want to do something like Books and Lala did though. So that um, is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you've read any of these or if any of these have been five stars for you, please let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts on all of these books. You can leave a comment down below or you can find all of my links to my social media accounts in the description box. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on the next video. But until then, happy reading. Bye.